The FMC rhetoric during the meeting, which took place last week, has changed in investors' sentiment. Thus, we see long awaited downward correction in the stock market and the US dollar strengthening. Notably, the greenbacks rise was also supported by the news about a faster growth pace of the US economy. This week, traders will also receive a bulk of important information. In our video calendar on InstaForex TV channel, we will focus on macroeconomic events and their influence on the currency market. Last week, traders learned about faster growth in the US economy. On Monday, they are likely to switch to the Eurozone economy. There, the situation is the opposite. According to preliminary estimates, the Eurozone GDP may slacken. Thus, in the fourth quarter of 2021, the Eurozone economy expanded by 0.4% after a rise of 2.2% in the previous quarter. High energy prices and inflation, as well as the unfavorable epidemiological situation, have had a negative influence on the economic growth pace. This, in turn, explains the ECB's policy of zero interest rates. Notably, the ECB is planning to halt its meeting on Thursday. The euro is likely to go on falling. The Reserve Bank of Australia may also refrain from hawkish rhetoric. On Tuesday, trading activity will start from the publication of the Reserve Bank of Australia's interest rate decision. Economists suppose that the regulator may keep the benchmark rate unchanged at 0.10%. At the previous meeting, politicians emphasized that Australia's inflation was moderately high, though significantly lower than in other countries. In addition, a sluggish rise in salaries prevents the regulator from switching to a tighter policy. Meanwhile, during the European session, the Eurozone is going to disclose its final manufacturing PMI data. The data is likely to meet preliminary estimates. It means that traders have already priced in the information. Also, this day, the US is going to unveil its ISM manufacturing PMI report. The indicator's reading is likely to affect the US assets. The report has been reflecting various problems caused by the pandemic, including supply chain restrictions, long delivery periods for raw materials and equipment, expensive energy resources, low quality uh, materials, and tessera. Against this background, the manufacturing PMI may show a decline. Ahead of the ECB's meeting, traders may pay careful attention to the Eurozone inflation report. According to the forecast, the annual growth pace in consumer prices may slacken to 4.4% from its all-time low of 5%. The report may prove the ECB's approach to a temporarily high inflation rate. This means that on Thursday, the monetary authorities may keep the policy unchanged. The US employment report is also among the most important events of the week. It's slated for release on Friday. As usual, the US will disclose its ADP non-farm employment data ahead of the official data for the US Labor Department. In January, the indicator's reading could be significantly lower than in December. Omicron is the main reason for such figures. The fact is that pandemic may sharply worsen any state of affairs. And we will monitor the market reaction to the above-mentioned reports. Subscribe to our channel and follow changes in market sentiment with us. Any comments, questions and offers are welcomed. We wish you profitable trading and see you soon.